You're listening to the Risky Media Network. Hey, what is up? Um, welcome to the Second Pool Podcast. Before we get into everything, I'm Jonathan Risk. Um, okay, this is going to be really hard and really weird to explain, but I just recorded the intro for a second time on Monday, and I explained how I thought I lost everything when I recorded Thursday, and then I went to redo everything Friday, and then the internet was down, so I just postponed it to Monday, but then I was bedridden because I've been sick since Saturday, and... Just looking through my computer because I'm on my way to Starbucks to upload everything because the internet's still not back. Um, I found all the files. So I'm going to scratch everything that I just recorded and we're going to get back into all the files that I found that I thought were deleted. And they're not deleted. They're actually here. So barring some weird event where I thought I found the files but I didn't or they don't work or something of that nature. Um... We're getting we're gonna get into the episode, but I just wanna tell you I'm sorry that we're so late with internet being down and then I got my one sickness out of the year where I damn near died. Um it was just better off I'm doing this Monday. So we're getting it out to you guys, but next week we're gonna be back on Saturday with a new episode. Um so enjoy this short week and yeah, let's get into it. Thanks, y'all. Peace. Alright, what is up everybody? Welcome to the Second Pool Podcast. I am your host, Jonathan Risk. This is episode number two, where you, we will be joined later on by Youth World Team member and basically well-traveled individual, Cole Bramble, 94 kilo lifter. It's a great conversation, honestly. We talk about how he's been all over the country, the world, Canada, what he did before he got into weightlifting, how at such a young age um, he's actually taken on the sport and the success and all that stuff. So really good conversation. Can't wait for you guys to hear it. But before we get into all that Once again, I am Jonathan Risk. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Official Risk, R-I-Z-K. You can message me there, DM me there, tell me what lifters you want to hear from. If you don't want to do it there, then you can follow the podcast on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Second Pull Podcast. That's 2ND Pull Podcast. Or you just go to secondpoolpodcast.com and all of our social media links are there as well. Another thing that I would like to um, ask of you guys to do is subscribe on the iTunes or wherever po- podcast um, uh, app you're listening to, whether it's Google Play, Stitcher, Podbean, whatever you're listening to us on, go ahead, subscribe. If you're listening to us on iTunes, Please, please, please subscribe. It's easier um, with Apple Podcasts. Right when the new episode drops every Saturday, it'll get right on your phone. No need to search for it or download it. It's right there. It's accessible. And if you're listening to us on iTunes, give us a nice review and a rating. It'll help us bump up in the rankings so more weightlifters will be able to hear about us. And I, there was one comment on Reddit. Um, Actually, last week where um, I forget the individual's name, so sorry, but the individual said, finally, a podcast to help me keep up with young up and coming weightlifters, which that's all we're trying to do. We're trying to get these lifters names out there. We're trying to make the sport more at one and more accessible to everybody. Um, Like, because it really has grown a lot as a sport, thanks to CrossFit and all these great lifters, um, the sport has really um, grew a lot. So we're trying to kind of let it keep growing, but also bring it more closer to the home, if you understand what I mean about that. But without further ado, there is a lot of news to get into, and this is the part where we kind of catch you up with all things going on in weightlifting. So... 
the first headline is the World Doping Agency clears 95 out of 96 Russian athletes that they were reviewing. That's uh, reported by the New York Times. And there's a nice article, a really nice article on Friends of the Show, Bar Ben's website. Go ahead, read all of that. But basically, they were all cleared for uh, insufficient evidence. And yeah, so they're all going to be clear to compete again. I believe that stopped them from clean, from competing at the Olympics in Rio, those um, individuals that were getting questioned. But speaking about Olympics, in 2028, the Olympics are back in L.A. I'm really excited about this. Um, I'm in the uh, central coast area of California now, you know, by Santa Barbara, San Luis Obispo. If you're familiar with any of those places, that's where I'm located now. So if I'm still in the area in 2028, I will definitely be checking myself a ticket to go to the Olympics. Um, even if I'm not in the area, I'm going to try because the Olympics in L.A., the new stadiums being built for the Rams and the um, and the Chargers if you're into NFL. So all of that will be good. Disneyland, Universals, all that good stuff out here. So that's ex- exciting. And then last week we touched on, I was naming out where all the national competitions for next year are going to be. And I said... And I recorded this part of the last week's podcast on Thursday, I believe. And I said, well, AO1 has yet to be announced, but I'm guessing it's going to be somewhere in the Midwest. Um, And then, you know, as fate has it, Friday, when I already upload the episode to be released on Saturday, they announced where the AO Series 1 is going to be. So if you haven't heard in the last week, because you've been living under a rock, the AO1 is announced for the Arnold in Columbus, Ohio. But now, for the big news that everybody is waiting for, the World Team World Championship squad has been announced. It's on usaweightlifting.com. They did a little feature, as well as Barbell. Uh, barbell.com did a little feature on it but I just wanted to go through a couple names and the weight classes um, there's a lot of great lifters on here um, for the men's team Angelo Bianco I'm sorry if I butcher anybody's name a lot going on but uh, 77 out of Vegas um, actually the gym he's lifting at I might head over to because i'm going to vegas next weekend shouldn't affect the podcast none but i'm actually gonna try to hit up that gym to get a session in next sunday so angela maybe i'll meet you maybe we'll get him on the podcast you never know what's gonna happen colin burns 94 kilo gram from colorado uh jordan cantrell from california cj cummins of course I don't think anyone was uh, not expecting that. Nathan Damron from North Carolina. Derek Johnson, uh, one of my good friends in weightlifting. I haven't seen Derek in a while, but I'm actually going to a competition um, in L.A. at Venice Beach the 30th. And I actually um, talked to Derek, and he's going to be there too. Maybe I could convince him to get on the podcast. We're still working on getting his little brothers, Daryl and Darren. Every time we plan something, something comes up. Um, and plus, you know, they're still competing. Uh, one of them was just at the AO3 in Michigan. So we're getting there. Uh, West Kits, no surprise there. Harrison Morris, which um, was almost didn't make it. Um, I know. I wish I had these names in front of me. But he was um, he was in danger of getting bumped off. At the AO3, but I'm glad to see he's on there. 77 kilo. D'Angelo Osario. Um, I used to lift with him back in the day. Great kid. 105 kilo. Um, Brian, I'm going to mess up your name. 56 kilogram weightlifter out of Arizona. Um, Rajorner? Rajorner? Someone will correct me. Someone tweet me the phonetic. Uh, pronunciation Kane Wilkes 105 plus from North Carolina and Ian Wilson the surprise I think in a lot of people's um, opinion and not a surprise that he's not um, at the standard of a world championship because he's been to 
many international competitions because this is one of the kids that I grew up lifting with. And to see him back from injury um, is really tremendous. Just watched Tim lift at the AO3 live um, on the computer because I wasn't there. Great to see him. Hopefully we're going to have him on the podcast. I've been talking to him a little bit here and there. It's honestly great to see him back in in full form as I remember him uh, right as I was getting out of weightlifting. Um, can't wait to speak to him and talk to him about coming back from all this. Um, hopefully that will be soon, but great to see him back. So that's it for the men's. Um, for the women's, Jenny Arthur, the Olympian. Um, Caitlin Hogan from Long Beach. Hmm. Maybe she'll be in Venice, get an interview with her too. Um, sorry, Ms. Johnson, I'm going to butcher your first name, but Shakisha? Shakisha Johnson, 90 or 75 kilogram weightlifter. Um, the Olympian Morgan King. Funny story about Morgan King. I actually talked to her father at AO2 in Miami. This week's episode of the Second Pole Podcast is brought to you by Isolator Fitness. Check out their meal management system bags at secondpolepodcast.com slash ISO. American-made quality for a great low price. Use code RISKY, R-I-Z-K-Y, for 10% off your entire purchase. Now back to the Second Pole Podcast. What is up, everybody? I am here coming to you from the confines, blah, blah, blah. It's been a rough morning already. The confines of the little studio here in not-so-beautiful California this morning. It's bright and early, and I am joined with 94-kilogram lifter Cole Bramble. What's up, Cole? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me, man. To listen to this full episode, search Second Pole Podcast wherever podcasts are available, or subscribe on iTunes at secondpolepodcast.com slash iTunes. You're listening to the Risky Media Network.